In this video, we're going to get you ready for your first ride on the Outcross Fat Tire Electric Bike from Gen 3. If you haven't yet assembled your bike, please be sure to check out our detailed assembly video for the Outcross. Now that your Gen 3 electric bike is assembled, you've learned about all the great features and read the owner's manual, let's get ready to ride. Here you see the battery pack integrated into the frame of your Gen 3 electric bike. Before you head out for your first ride, make sure your battery is fully charged. We talked earlier in the video about the two ways to charge your battery. Just be sure you're charged up. Next, you see the battery lock. Locking the battery into the frame helps keep it secure and connected while riding. If you need to take the battery out to charge it or swap it with a spare on a long ride, just insert the key, turn it counterclockwise to unlock the battery. The top of the battery will pop out and you can easily remove it. The battery will need to be inserted and locked in place for the bike to operate. To insert the battery pack, simply place it in the frame bottom first. Then press on the top of the battery until it is flush with the frame. You'll hear it and feel it click into place. Always be sure to store your keys in a safe area. You get two with the bike, and it's a good idea to store them in two separate locations, so you always have your backup. Before you can power up the bike, you need to insert the key and turn it to the on position. Once it is in the on position, you can remove the key to ride safely. Keep track of that key. To turn on the bike, press and hold the mode button for two seconds. The display will activate and you will know you're powered up. Important note here, for many, this will be your first electric bike. While they're extremely fun to ride, Try getting used to the power electric bikes provide before you really crank things up. By default, the bike will start up with pedal assist at level one. This is definitely where you need to start. For safety, we suggest turning on the headlight. You do this by holding down the plus sign for two seconds. Find a familiar and open space for your first ride. Start riding and get a feel for the power of the motor. When you're comfortable, press the plus button to increase your level of pedal assist. Gen 3 electric bikes are powerful and you wanna ease into it. Make sure you test out your brakes. Electric bikes are heavier than traditional bikes and require more stopping power. Plus, the disc brakes are also very powerful and you wanna get a feel for how they're going to slow you down. Always be sure to use both the front and the rear brakes together for the safest possible stop. Check out your shifter also, working through the available gears. If you plan on using pedal assist or the throttle on your ride, we suggest using gear six, maybe seven but it's important to know how to use them, so be sure to move through them all and get a sense for how they affect your pedaling. And once you're comfortable using pedal assist and you get a feel for how the brakes react at different speeds, you can try out the throttle. Located on the left side, attached to the display is the throttle. It allows you to access the full power of the bike without the need to pedal. Stop pedaling and apply a small amount of pressure to the throttle using your thumb. And as you get comfortable, experiment with more power by pressing harder. The throttle and pedal assist are independent but the riding experience is gonna be seamless. Feel free to use either or both at the same time while out for a ride. When you're done riding, you can press and hold the M button for two seconds to turn the bike off. It will also power off automatically after 10 minutes of non-use to help conserve your battery power. But be sure to turn off your rear light. Those are the basics that will get you out on your first ride. For more details, check out our other videos covering the Outcross. Visit gen3ride.com to learn more or contact our amazing customer service team.